this is the solution to written homework 34. <coughs> okay, so we're asked to plot a piecewise defined function. So I'm going to call this one the red one. This is the red one. And I'll plot its points in red. And this is the, I'll call this one down here the green one. And I'll plot its points in green. Okay. So for the red one, uh, the place where the switch between red and green occurs is at one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mark that out. X is one. That's where the switch occurs. So this is X is one. Okay. Now X is less than one. So that means to the left to the left of one. So this is the left side. And x greater or equal to 1. So this is the right side. So to the left, uh, the y value will be the x value plus 1. OK. So uh, at 0, x is 0, the y value will be 1. Okay. At x is negative 1, the y value will be 0. At x is negative 2, the y value will be uh, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then they just continue going down and to the left like this. <coughs> okay, and then at the x value exactly 1, it should be, uh, this would be 1 plus 1 is 2, but that's not part of part of the red bit because it says strictly less than, so I'm going to draw this point open. Okay, now the green part, that is to say to the right of this, when x is greater or equal to 1, we need to cube the x coordinate to get the y value. So here exactly at x is 1, exactly at x is 1, uh, it's x cubed and uh, 1 cubed is 1 and then we move over to 2, 2 cubed is 8 so that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 <coughs> and then uh, 3 cubed is 27 and that's way way up high so that'd be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so if that's 8 it'd have to be 3 times this high uh, so that'd be like way up here. So you don't have to plot this one. I'm just plotting it for fun. Okay, then connecting these dots, it would look like this. So something like that. Okay, similarly for this one, I'll call this the red one. And I'll call this the green one. And because this says x greater or equal to 2, this is again referring to the right side. And this is, a current, is referring to the left side, except in this particular case, um, <clears throat> in this particular case, the change occurs at x is 2. So I'll mark that out. So to the left of x is 2, we're supposed to do this. And to the right of x is 2, we're supposed to do that. OK. So exactly at x is 2, we don't have a red point, but I need to draw it open. 
So 2 squared minus 2, that'd be 4 minus 2, that would be 2. So that would be here. So there's an open red point there. And then at 1, x is 1, that'd be 1 squared minus 2. 1 squared is 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So here, that's closed. And then at x is 0, 0 squared minus 2 is negative 2. And then at x is uh, negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1 minus 1 is, uh, oh, sorry, minus 2 is negative 1. And then now plugging in x is uh, 3, <coughs> no, negative 2. So negative 2 squared is 4, minus 2 is 2, so that'd be a point here, symmetric with that one. Now plugging in 3, that'd be uh, negative 3, that'd be 9 minus 2 is 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then plugging in negative 4, that'd be 16 uh, minus uh, 2. That'd be way up here, so something like this. OK. For the right-hand side, when x is exactly 2, when x is exactly 2, that'd be 2 minus 5 is um, negative 3. Absolute value of that is 3, and then plus 4 is 7. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's closed because it says greater or equal. Okay. <coughs> Then, uh, when x is 3, so that would be 3 minus 5 is 2, uh, is negative 2, absolute value of that is 2, and then plus 4 is 6, so 6. Uh, if we plug in x is 4, 4 minus 5 is negative 1, absolute value of that is 1, plus 4 is 5. we plug in 5, 5 minus 5 is 0, absolute value of 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. Now we can plug in 6, and 7, and 8, and 9. That's all the ones that would fit. Okay, so then connecting those dots, Something like this. And that's the answer.